Yeah, hi guys, good morning. So today we'll see the JavaScript developer certification maintenance uh, summer 2020. So basically here we have uh, two chapters. The chapter one is uh, a multiple choice and uh, the chapter two is uh, the hands-on approach. Got it. So first we'll see the chapter one. So maintain your JavaScript developer one certification for summer 2022. Just click on this arrow. In this challenge, so they given six questions to us. Let's discuss. Got it. So what are the questions uh, they given? The first one is what? So how can a data view be refreshed uh, without reloading an entire page in LWC and uh, Ayura? Got it. So let's see the refreshing the page. Lightning refresh, force refresh. So, a refresher a view API. Next, so which feature replace lightning locker for lightning web components and a, a URA a component? URA component. Then we can go here. This one, lightning web security. Next, so new scratch logs have a LWS enabled by default. So which Boolean is used to disable LWS in scratch org definition file? Scratch org definition file. So local service next uh, is false. The next uh, to locate a specific DOM element. Uh, so what a new query can be a user? What new query will be used? DOM. LWC ref. This one. So, which directory it is uh, will be deprecated and removed in the future? So, that is obviously so. Is true and is if. Next, so which component should be extended to create an overlay atop of uh, the current window application? That is a, a model. A model. Got it? So, out of six, uh, so we'll see here we have a check the switch to and 100 points is in a click on that. So, done. So, the part one is uh, completed. So, then we can go for the next unit. So, here we have a, a challenge, right? Obviously, you need to uh, connect uh, your Visual Studio code. Your org now. Let's see. 
so launch all this is hands on following so create a lightning web component let create a lightning web component so here we have an uh, org is there just click on here launch done so now so this is our a visual studio code as of now in lwc nothing is there then so what we are going to do now so first go to here so create a lightning web component uh, so with the name child got it so just you can copy this uh, name now go here lightning web component control shift p to so select a uh, create lightning web component select create a uh, lightning web component what was the file so that is child then hit on enter see here the child component is a uh, uh, created so next in this javascript uh, so you need to copy paste this uh, copy and go here uh, javascript this is a javascript file and uh, paste it then so create a one more component that is the parent copy the name go here control shift uh, p create a lightning web component so provide the name as a parent see here system created so one more component uh, that is a parent so in javascript uh, you want to copy this this is a javascript now copy paste then after so this is javascript file and uh, a meta.xml copy so where the meta.xml this is the meta.xml done and then after what so parent html copy from here this is the parent and this is the parent uh, html next uh, done so then after what we have to do you need to deploy this uh, child and parent uh, lightning of a component got it so you can save all those things save all those things so once you save it so left side we have a child and parent components is there na? child and parent components is there na? just uh, right click on it then click on here a uh, deploy to source of a uh, deploy to source of done next uh, click on the parent and uh, a deploy to source of done so both the components are deployed the next step is what add the parent to component to the right column account of the record page detail save and add to your custom page as the org default on the desktop form factor got it so now so this is my account so now you can go here set up set up just open the account object right so that is the account record page detail right go here and open the account object account object so just you can open any one of the record see here we have a burlington textile right just you can open this so this is uh, the detailed page right go here setup in the setup we have a edit page option is there in the setup we have a edit page option is there click on that edit page click on that uh, edit page so now here you need to add that uh, parent to component so left side uh, so in this components just you can scroll down you will find out under the custom we have parent under the custom we have a parent got it so we need to add so we need to add that component uh, in this place got it so here we have parent to component is then just uh, drag and drop that uh, parent object here see this we can drag and drop see here it will be look like summer 23 maintenance see here they given one image also see here it will be look like got it and then after so once you added click on the save button then click on here activate here you need to select a org default see assign as the org default so 
which form factor that is a, a desktop then click on here next and save it next and uh, save it and second click on save done got it so this part is completed so the next uh, so we can go for hands on See, before start so if you have it already uh, already completed uh, the get ready for the hands on solid step in this module do that now so we already completed the next step. so update the parent component update the parent component update the html html markup to use lwc if and uh, lwc if else uh, directory is in instead of uh, lwc if true and uh, if false uh, directory got it so now now we can go here parent to component so this is our parent to component see here here they used if true and uh, if else got it so line number four and line number 12 line number four and line number four they used if true and if false next what we have to do so we need to replace this uh, if true with l w c if l w c if next if it falls with if it falls with l w c else l w c else got a point right l w c else got it so just to can LWC if and LWC else. No need to call this. Leave it. Got it? Any problems is there? No. Next. Next. Uh, come here. So test both the branches if conditional branching. Uh, so uh, record JavaScript. Okay. Uh, okay. Next. So in the HTML markups, assign the a reference child when uh, initiating the child component. Got it? So how can I uh, do that? So here we have a child, right? So what we have to do? So we need to initiate uh, the child. So how can I initiate? How can I initiate? We have to call the uh, reference LWC colon reference equals to what was the child name? Child. What was the child name? Child. If else and uh, the reference and the reference got it next so in the parent javascript controller locate the child lwc using reference uh, the query selector right now now javascript right this is the javascript got it so here they use the query selector right so we don't want to use this uh, query selector just i'm making uh, this one as a comment next so what we have to do this dot reference dot child that's enough got it so just we can save this html and a, a javascript and then after we can deploy into the source org deploy to the source org done so it's deployed got it so now come here so here we have a check the challenge check the challenge to n 500 point so just click on that let me see what happened checking whether we provided all the values or not So done. So successfully completed to so JavaScript developer one certification maintenance for summer 2023. Got it? So just you can uh, uh, subscribe the channel, right? So in this channel, so we are getting uh, uh, different type of uh, uh, maintenance solutions.
got it and some important topics also is there got it so thanks for watching goodbye